In today's video, while debating with a student, Charlie Kirk explained the situation at the border in a way that contains many facts that many people might not be aware of. Charlie Kirk explained these facts in a very impressive way. Let's go straight to the video to see how it unfolds. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to do so. We regularly bring interesting videos like this that help improve your thinking. Let's start. Let's talk about the border. Oh, we have brought in 5% of the population of Haiti. I, I don't see the issue with that, though. Like, as what? Uh, what? You, you don't see the issue with allow, that? Allow, allowing immigrants into our country. No, I mean, is that not the foundation of our country? Illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants. Yeah, that people seeking lines. refuge for the best country in the world. Isn't that the whole point of your like organization? Well, the U.S. is the best country in the world. Shouldn't we be obligated to like help well, people that are suffering? Yes, America is the best country. Therefore, its citizens should come first, not foreigners. So we, we have an obligation to our own so people. Yeah, so the pathway to citizenship should become easier. No, we should deport them all back to their homeland. We should homeland. deport them all back to their All homeland. back to their homeland. All the immigrants, okay. Well, we should all make the illegal for... foreigners, yes. Okay. Go down to Aurora, Colorado, right down the street here. Entire apartment complexes are now being run by Venezuelan gangs. Not to mention every day an American citizen is being killed. We have a different belief. We have a belief that our founding fathers had, which is if your government does not fulfill its obligation to its own people first, its government is not legitimate. And that's what's happening right now. An illegal invader is not an immigrant. He won't see the issue with it until it negatively affects him. Even then, he'll try to rationalize it. College students living in their protected bubbles don't experience real-world consequences. Taking care of your own citizens before taking care of illegal immigrants should never be considered controversial. People used to come here for opportunity, even through hardship. Now they come with hands out for a handout. All these people should be forced to share their dorms, apartments, tents, campers, condos, houses or flats with the migrants they claim to love. What do you all think about this video? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. Take care.